right, what's going on everybody? So it is April 10th here in Leon, Nicaragua. Supposedly the hottest month of the year, so we'll see how long I can sit out in the sun here. I'm hanging out in the Central Park getting ready to meet a friend in about 20 minutes to practice some Spanish. Uh, but I haven't done a vlog here in a while, at least here in Leon. I've been pretty busy doing a lot of different stuff here in the last month. So I figured I'd do like a little update video to, to update the uh, <laughs> couple people who, <laughs> who follow my channel. But here in the last month or so, I've still been teaching in the morning, teaching English to the uh, Vietnamese company that I work for. Also did a couple weeks teaching in person for a class here in Leon. So I was doing that at night, so my days were pretty busy. I was teaching online in the morning, kind of planning my classes during the day, then teaching at night. So made for pretty busy days, but I do really enjoy uh, teaching in person more so than online. But you do get paid more online and it is a little bit more flexible. So. I have chosen that option as kind of my full-time job. But I also just started volunteering as well. I've been looking for opportunities for a while now and finally ended up starting with a program. It's called uh, Solo Amor. It's like only love in Spanish, but it's with a neighborhood a little bit outside the center. I'm teaching English and playing games with the, the kids as well. It's been a lot of fun so far. The kids... <laughs> It's kind of funny, I, I teach them, their English is, is basically non-existent, so I've been teaching them English by speaking Spanish so they understand, and that's gone pretty well. I, I'm able to speak okay, but my problem is understanding, so, so when we go to play the games, I cannot understand almost anything. They're just speaking in uh, straight slang pretty much the entire time. I can't tell when they're angry at each other, which is basically the entire time. I know they're <laughs> probably saying things they shouldn't be saying but I don't know exactly what it is but hopefully after a couple weeks I'll start understanding some of the slang and, and picking up on some of the things they're saying. Uh, what else have I been doing? I started a dance class, some more salsa lessons about three weeks ago so I'm taking salsa in línea, like in line salsa. That's been a lot of fun. I took Cuban salsa probably about five or six months ago. I think the salsa I'm taking right now in línea is a little bit easier, which has been nice because I was really struggling with the Cuban salsa. With that being said, I'm still horrible. It's still just little by little kind of learning moves and uh, trying not to get too embarrassed during class. But the class has actually been pretty comfortable. It's when I go to like a bar and dance. It's when I forget everything and it's, it's pretty horrible. But that's been fun learning. Definitely something I'd like to continue practicing. But yeah, like I said, the last month has been quite busy. A lot of cool stuff happening. The baseball season started about a month ago. I went to their first home game. They played Chinandega, and I think they lost. It was like 1-0. Not a super exciting game, but still fun to go to. The games are super cheap to get into, and then all the snacks are really cheap, like pizza and plantain chips, things like that. Super affordable, so that was a lot of fun. A couple weeks ago, I hiked San Cristobal. It's the tallest volcano here in Nicaragua. That was, um, it was both fun and frustrating. The views were really nice from the top. The hike was super frustrating because the, the loose rock was really hard to climb, but I would say worth it in the end. It was kind of expensive. I went through Quetzal Trekkers, Quetzal Trekkers? Something like that. And it was like $60, which is like 20 or $30 more than a lot of the other volcano hikes I've done, but still a fun experience in the end. And then last week, I actually went to Ometepe Island it was my first visit there, it was really awesome. I only got to spend two days there, uh, but it was really relaxing. I definitely want to go back and hike the volcano, Volcano uh, Concepcion, which is like, I think the second highest volcano there. But I didn't do it, I only had two days, like I said, so I just kind of relaxed, went to Ojo de Agua and Punta de Jesus Maria, something like that. And then kind of rode around on the scooter, explored a little bit, uh, but it was a lot of fun. It was really crowded there, actually. Last week was Semana Santa too, which is, uh, Holy Week and Leon is super Catholic so they have a lot of traditions, had a lot of cool things going on in the city during the week. A lot of processions, basically little marches or kind of little parades where they had statues of Jesus, San Benito, Maria. That was really cool to see. Another big tradition here is making what they call alfombras, which are carpets. They basically make those out of dirt and I guess color in the dirt they make pictures of like Jesus and a lot of different pictures of, of different important people 
uh, within the religion. So those were really neat to see. They had those in Central Park and then had those a lot in the neighborhood of Sutiaba as well. But also during Semana Santa, it's really popular over the weekend, especially for people to go to the beach. Like I said, I was in Ometepe, so I wasn't at the beach of Las Manitas and Ponaloya, but I heard it was super busy there. And it was actually really busy in Ometepe as well. I guess a lot of the people who live probably in Managua, Granada, Rivas, a little bit closer to Ometepe, make that their getaway for the weekend. So it was really busy there as well, but still a really good time. But yeah, coming up here, I've got uh, some fun stuff happening. I am going to Costa Rica here in the next couple days. I've got to go do a visa run, so update my visa. So I'm going to be spending a few days in San Jose, probably just laying low, enjoying my time there, relaxing. Don't want to spend too much money uh, since Costa Rica is a little bit more expensive, but I'm looking forward to that trip. And then here next month, toward the middle or end of May, I'll actually be going back to the United States for probably four to six weeks. Probably won't be doing too much while I'm there, just working and probably visiting some friends, trying to save some money up, uh, but nothing too crazy while I'm there. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on recently. Not much more to say. I know this wasn't a super uh, exciting vlog, but just kind of a little update on what I've got going on here in Leon. I've actually been meaning to make this vlog for a little while, but every time I walk around, it's just, it's super busy here. Um, and almost the only place you can get at least in the city kind of some space to your own is in the sunlight during the middle of the day like I am right now so you can see everybody's behind me hanging out in the shade and I'm the one idiot sweating it out in the sun here but yeah here in the next few weeks I'll have some videos from Costa Rica and hopefully a few more from there uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video